Hey everyone, Steph here from Old Guy Melts Plastic. Um, today I'm just uh, recording this video to kind of show you the output I've received uh, after changing my um, 3D printer's uh, slicer settings in the slicer software and uh, just compare the output that I get kind of before and after. So to give you some context, uh, these are two identical models. They're the Voron Design Q V7. Um, it's often used for a number of test prints. And uh, the one on the left was printed um, on my Voron V2 and took about 55 minutes and some seconds to print. And the one on the right uh, was also printed on the same printer uh, in the same filament after modifying the slicer settings to increase speeds um, and the one on the right took approximately 33 minutes to print so that's shaving a total of about 22 minutes off the print time which is pretty fantastic um, and are there some differences in print quality absolutely but for functional parts um, you know I'm I'm willing to accept the slight difference in print quality um, for a time savings of uh, something on the order of 40 percent or very nearly 40 percent so where do we see the differences uh, if you look carefully here on the Y face um, the indented Y on the left um, is a little bit sharper and more clearly defined. There are a few minor blemishes or print artifacts on the Y on the right. So again, the left was the slower print and the right was the faster print. Um, but other than that, and the same thing with the, the imprint on the X, um, you got a little bit clearer uh, definition in the X on the left part, which did uh, was slower print and then a bit more definition, or a few more artifacts on the right print, which is the faster print. Um, and here's the top surface uh, comparatively between the two. So again, you know, are they perfect? No. Are they pretty good? Yes. Is there a significant difference between the left and the right for a, you know, almost 40% savings in time? Um, I'd argue not really. Uh, or at least not as not as much that I would, you know, my eye can notice, um, and so I'm pretty happy with the changes uh, that I've brought to the slicer profile that I'm using to make my prints. Um, so yeah, I'd uh, love to uh, see your comments, your thoughts uh, in the comments below. Um, also, uh, poll the audience. You know, what type of content do you most want to see? Um, what kind of content can I generate for you? Is it more from the bench videos where I'm walking you through how to set up specific hardware or mods? Um, do you want to see, you know, more um, more educational content with um, information from my Teachable Moments category? You just want to look at more time lapse videos. Uh, I now have uh, a camera equipped on my V0 printer as well, so I can give you. Uh, time-lapse videos from that perspective. It's a different uh, camera angle than I use on my V2, uh, but we can see what we can do about that. So uh, post in the comments, you know, what kind of content you'd like me to generate for you, and uh, I'll see what I can come up with. Thanks for watching.